higher education also called post-secondary education. Third level or tertiary education is an optional final stage of formal learning that occurs after completion of secondary education. Often delivered at universities, academies, colleges, seminaries, conservatories, and institutes of technology, higher education is also available through certain college-level institutions, including vocational schools, trade schools, and other career colleges that award academic degrees or professional certifications. Tertiary education at non-degree level is sometimes referred to as further education or continuing education as distinct from higher education. The right of access to higher education is mentioned in a number of international human rights instruments. The Un-International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights of 1966 declares, in Article 13, that higher education shall be made equally accessible to all, on the basis of capacity, by every appropriate means, and in particular by the progressive introduction of free education. In Europe, Article 2 of the first Protocol to the European Convention on Human Rights, adopted in 1950, obliges all signatory parties to guarantee the right to education. In the days when few pupils progressed beyond primary education or basic education, the term higher education was often used to refer to secondary education, which can create some confusion. This is the origin of the term high school for various schools for children between the ages of 14 and 18 United States or 11 and 18 UK and Australia. Rupert I founded the University of Heidelberg in 1386 Higher education includes teaching, research, exacting applied work e.g. in medical schools and dental schools and social services activities of universities. Eight within the realm of teaching, it includes both the undergraduate level, and beyond that, graduate level or postgraduate level. The latter level of education is often referred to as graduate school, especially in North America. In addition to the skills that are specific to any particular degree, potential employers in any profession are looking for evidence of critical thinking and analytical reasoning skills, team working skills, information literacy, ethical judgment, decision making skills, fluency in speaking and writing problem-solving skills, and a wide knowledge of liberal arts and sciences. Since World War I, I, developed and many developing countries have increased the participation of the age group who mostly studies higher education from the elite rate of up to 15 percent to the mass rate of 16 to 50 percent. In many developed countries, Participation in higher education has continued to increase towards universal or, what Troll later called, open access, where over half of the relevant age group participate in higher education. Higher education is important to national economies, both as an industry, in its own right, and as a source of trained and educated personnel for the rest of the economy. College-educated workers have commanded a measurable wage premium and are much less likely to become unemployed than less educated workers. However, the admission of so many students of only average ability to higher education inevitably requires a decline in academic standards, facilitated by grade inflation. Also, the supply of graduates in many fields of study is exceeding the demand for their skills which aggravates graduate unemployment, underemployment, credentialism and educational inflation.